This is Eyewitness News at 5. It's a first for the Olympics. Pennsylvanians can now place bets on the games legally. Yeah, but which sport or individual athlete is a sure bet? Kind of hard to figure out. So we asked a professional where he put his money. So you think Simone Biles is going to dominate in Tokyo? Now there's a way to put your money where your mouth is. Sports betting is now legal in the Keystone State, although not everyone agrees it's the right thing. I don't think they should do it. I think sports are about the sports itself, and I think that it's about representing your country. I don't think that anything should be betting unless it's professional. Play DraftKings free fourth quarter prediction challenge. Johnny Avello is the director of sports marketing for online sports wagering's DraftKings. He says, when in doubt, go with the sports you follow, like basketball or tennis, or put your patriotism to the test and hope that Team USA brings home a lot of medals. I would get into sports that you either know a lot about or if you don't, maybe stick with the medal count. Um, we have the number of medals total, uh, 111 and a half for the uh, for the U.S. It's what's known as the over under total. That means if you bet on the U.S. to win 112 medals or more, you'd win. That sounds like a lot of hardware, but consider this. In the last summer games, the U.S. took home 121 medals. But remember, there's no Michael Phelps in the pool this year, and that could lower the total. Sports fans we spoke to at the Roosevelt Beer Garden in Dunmore say go with the over. I just think the United States has some of the top athletes in the world, and traditionally, they've, I believe they've gotten over 111 medals in past Olympics. I, I think it'll be over because our athletes are great and they put a hard work in. Then there's the proposition bets or prop bets like the coin toss in the Super Bowl. Some bookmakers offer head to head matches for most gold medals won between two specific countries, say Canada versus Great Britain. But what about the sports most of us don't follow? Avello says you might find betting value in, of all things, women's handball. Yes, that is an Olympic sport. And yes, you can bet on it. And the Netherlands may be a Cinderella pick here. At 14 to 1, a $10 bet would win you $150. The uh, Netherlands are 14 to 1, so maybe if there's a sport out there that you know a little bit about more than we do, uh, you might be able to find value in a play like that. Bet with your head not over it right now. By the way, the Netherlands is playing South Korea in women's handball. That game is tomorrow. They're a heavy favorite. The team is a 15 to 1 shot to win the gold. And Team USA has 14 medals so far. Quite a ways to go to win that over 111 and a half. But there's a long way to go in the games. Sure. Team USA gotten a bit of a slow start so far. Yeah, interesting though. 10 bucks can get you 150. That's pretty not too Sounds shabby. Sounds great, especially when you win. <laughs> I know, right? Well, three people are injured.